Hi, this is Ty Ford, and I thought it would be really interesting if we could compare four different boom mics just to see how they stack up against each other. So down here in the studio, again, it's a pretty tight place. There's not a lot of slappy sound going on down here. So um, it's not gonna be like your typical office or home setting or even some sound stages with hard psych walls. It's gonna be pretty close. So it doesn't give us a chance to really evaluate how well uh, a hyper does against an interference tube mic. It's another test for another time. How far can you go? I've got all four mics going into a 442. And um, I basically have set the trim to three o'clock. That seemed to be a good place for them. And uh, we're just going to go down the line. Uh, obviously, the mics are above me here. And either <laughs> slightly in or just, I guess you can see them, can't you? Just in frame. Yeah. So we're going to start on the left, my left here. And that's the um, Rode NTG4 Plus. And the 4 Plus means that it is phantom power, but also battery. And it's a uh, shotgun mic with an interference too. Um, so we have it. I'll, I'll kind of move around on it just a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Turn, do some head turns and stuff like that. So you can get a chance to hear what it sounds like. Now, the next one is the 416. Here's the thing about the 416. It is, you know, uh, extremely sensitive. I think the only one that may be up there uh, close to it is an Audio-Technica uh, 4073 or whatever they're calling that with their BP numbers. So I had to dial back the sensitivity a little bit in order to get it into the same range. I'm going to go over to it now. So here's the 416 dialed back just a little bit. And, you know, where does that come in handy, all that uh, extra sensitivity? Well, if you've got um, not-so-good preamps, uh, then that's a wonderful thing for this mic because it's got so much sensitivity that you don't have to uh, require that much gain from your preamp. Uh, having said that, it's also got uh, a pretty aggressive peak up in the, in the presence range, which you can hear around my S's and stuff like that. So uh, in addition, if you're booming in, on a walking shot over somebody walking on gravel or even through grass, it's going to pick up the sound of that gravel and grass a lot. But, you know, a world standard. Next, we have a Sheps CMC 641, and that's what I got going on right now. Check two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I forgot to move back and forth with the 416. Maybe I'll go back and revisit that, but I'm kind of moving around now. I'm, I'm literally way in front of the mic right now. You love that when you're doing interviews and the guy goes, and the most important thing I wanted to tell you on the lockdown boom shot. So this is the Sheps CMC 641. And finally, uh, this is the DPA 4017, which is the one, uh, the 4017 has the interference tube on it, and I'll go over to that right now. And this is the DPA 4017, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, going back and across, and I'll hit the 416 and move around on that. So again, here's the Sheps CMC 641, 12 o'clock on the big faders, three o'clock uh, on the trims, check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We go back to the 416, turn down just a little bit on the trims because it is so sensitive and check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then back to the original, which is the Rode NTG4. Plus, in this particular case, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Certainly not as peaky as the 416. Um, but uh, the question is, do you want that? Do you need that? Only you can decide for your own situation. So that's four mics in a reasonably short period of time. Um, subscribe to my channel, if you will. Thanks for watching. See you.